let's make a new exercise in solid works cork screw see here all dimensions in millimeter and unspecified corner radius 1 millimeter okay then there is a one nc metric thread also okay look this is the one view top view and there is a bottom view and there is one section view section a a okay this is the isometric view and scale everything written here now these uh, revolutions are 4.5 okay first we will make the outer body then we will create this uh, circular uh, body uh, features with the help of helix feature now let's make the total length 75 millimeter and you will observe here the straight one only 29.5 then there is a one curve 33.04 now from here see here 38 millimeter slanted at this point you will see here this corner 1 millimeter and the diameter you will observe at bottom 1 millimeter and uh, angle angle for this 3.87 okay so let's do this first then at corner there is a chamfer and a machine thread m4 into 0.8 okay let's do this first now either we can create straight or horizontal so let's create straight oh, let's create front plane sketch now activate here line tool and start from here go little straight now here i want to create a tab but before going to create tab i am going to create center line now draw one like line like this and draw a line something like this exit now select these two lines and make it a real line then this one connect with the help of three point arc okay now let's define the dimensions now overall length i am going to define let's say 75 okay now these diameter 5 now these length 1 and diameter also shows 1 1 millimeter see okay now let's define the angle now angle here is defined 3.87 divided by 2 now that's it now let's define the radius 33.04 okay okay it seems fully defined only the length is balanced so distance length from this end to bottom this is going to be 38 okay and these length also define 29.5 now look it's it is a fully defined sketch now just go to uh, features and activate revolve boss base feature now due to this construction line this geometry is open profile so system ask ask would you like the sketch to be automatically closed say yes now look by default system detect this center line or as a axis of revolution keep direction blind or end condition blind and angle i want complete 360 body so keep angle 360 degree say okay look okay let's add here one chamfer angle distance this corner and here let me choose 0 0.5 into 45 degree say okay now here either use a real thread or cosmetic thread so i'm going to for real thread okay now start let's say this age going going to start now here one one more option is start from so i'm going to select this top face now look 
Okay, now this looks perfect. Now, let's uh, make little offset 2 millimeter upper side so that we will get corner perfectly sharp reverse. Okay, 2 millimeter upside. Now, this length 10.5, so here we have to add 10.5 plus 2. Then we will achieve 10.5 result here. Now metric die because I want to cut. Now this is the shape, uh, size, thread size M5 into 0.8. Now you will see the diameter and everything. Now in this case we need to cut thread. See, we don't need this one, we need cut thread. Okay. Okay, this is going to be same. Okay. And here we go, see. Now let's add this screw. This screw diameter starts with 12.5, see, 12.55. Now the pitch, 9 millimeter. And here number of revolution, 4.5, okay. And uh, you will see one more thing. The depth of this, 1 millimeter. And this is going to start, look, dimensions. 45 millimeter from bottom. And this is going to start this profile going to take from center point. So let's do this. First we need to create a plane. Select this one. 75 minus 45. Flip. Now this is the location. Okay. Now select this plane to go to sketch and select sketch circle now let's draw a circle make a smart dimension 12.5 12.55 go to feature and here drop down and check helix and spiral look now defined by pitch and revolution because these two dimensions we have constant pitch now pitch size 9 and number of revolutions 4.5 and reverse direction means this is moving downward direction Okay, start angle 0 clockwise direction. Now, let me select right plane because right plane going to lies on this point. See? So, I am going to choose right plane, sketch and here I am going to select a corner rectangle. That's fine. And let me draw one rectangle. And here find the midpoint. Just keep cursor over and you will see the midpoint. And select this uh, arrow, uh, this curve, and here one option called make peers. See, a smart dimension. These width one millimeter. Now, this profile going to uh, swift along this path. So, this point don't keep at center. Otherwise, uh, it's, it it creates problem. So, let's create little differences. Cancel. A smart dimension let me select uh, uh, little differences 0 0.1 okay go to feature and activate swift boss base feature now here choose profile and select the path now you will see the preview Say OK. Now click on this uh, helix. Hide. Even though let's hide this plane also. Now at bottom there is a different kinds of cutout. You will see here. See. These cutouts you will observe from here. 12.5 the in internal radius 1. But there is a 1 2 diameter a circle which is going to coincide with this tangent curve 4.37 the upper one 3.37 this lower one let's see how this is going to cut this is going to cut only up to here uh, this face and rest these uh, faces are same it means we need to cut only up to something mid between let's say Let's create a plane first. 75. 
make it flip and make at bottom see here okay now select these plane 3 sketch let's okay now this is the perfect shape let's uh, create few one two three okay the outer diameter 12.55 or 55 this one for reference purpose keep two okay one more circle now this circle location present at this line one more circle something like here okay now these all curves are tangent to each other so first i am going to select this curve and this curve tangent dimension this radius given 4.37 so this is going to be diameter okay now this is also radius given diameter radius let's say 3.38 into 2 become diameter okay now what is tangent thing select this one and this circle tangent okay one more relation select this one with this curve both circle tangent to each other now look it seems fully defined sketch now here i will do one thing select this line and uh, uncheck and make real line because I need to trim many thing here. Go to trim entities, power trim. Just press and hold left mouse and drag this. Okay. Now trim this one. This one. okay let me do one thing again let's okay connect with three point arc okay okay now okay now that's fine because this already radius defined don't need to define anything else power trim now we have here a close profile look now I am not going to add any more thing because this is what the things we are going to trim or we are going to cut just check closely extruded cut select this one reverse now look this is going to cut only up to this face now we don't need to go move up to here even you can just simply move something like this don't cut this portion 11 12 is enough look this is what we achieved hide normal view and see this is the profile you can add material alloy steel for uh, let's say polished steel see don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Let me add fillet. Constant type fillet make 1 millimeter. Okay. Okay, let me select this side. Both side 1 millimeter. See, both going to be apply. Okay. 
corner radius that's it see both side thanks for watching